In the next few tutorials, I'll show you how to recreate this figure eight ramp walkways and how to add supporting structures and a balustrade. So to start off, I'll go into my top view and I've already created a figure eight that um, I'll be using in this tutorial, but just to show you quickly how you would get this type of shape, you just grab the line tool in the splines and you'll just start sketching out roughly where you want this shape. And then you want to close the spline, yes. And how I get it to be smooth and um, a bit more symmetrical, I'll just go and edit the points. So click on the vertexes and I'll just drag to where I want it to be. This can take some time, so I won't um, go into exactly how I get this shape, but then I'll go and move these vertices in place. So So selecting these vertices and entering in the height, the desired height. So I'll add 10 meters. Five meters. So just adjusting these points that you have a smooth gradient. So once you have the desired shape, I'll go and add a normalized spline. This just takes out any of those rough edges and smooths out this curve. So that was just a quick uh, example of how you get this um, this shape, but it can be quite tedious. So I'll just use this existing shape that I created earlier. So what we want to do next is use the sweep tool to create the width and depth of the ramp. So what you want to do is go into top view, grab a rectangle, and drag it out. So adjusting the width, so we want the width as, let's say, four meters. And length as zero point five. So once we have that shape, we want to sweep, create a sweep. So we go into the modify list and add the sweep, and this will automatically place. Um, a default shape there, but we want to add our custom shape. So this could be anything, but we're just using this as an example for now. So we want to go and use custom selection and select pick and then pick your created shape. 
So sometimes uh, you probably can't see it in this view, but it can tilt, um, it can have a, a tilt to the sweep. So we want to go and untick. We want to go and untick in the parameters. Uh, smooth. No. Okay, so it's already unticked. So sometimes it will already have that ticked, but you want to have banking unticked. So once we have that basic ramp shape, we can select it might put on my edges and faces so I can select go to edit poly I want to go to edge and select one of these edges Ooh. And then we want to click ring, and this will select all of these edges. We then want to connect all of these edges, so we press connect. To create the balustrades, we want two balustrades, so one on either side, so we'll change that to two, and then adjust where we want it. Yep. So the next thing we want to do is go and extrude our balustrades so doing that we we click on the polygon and then you just go and select all of the exterior polygons and by clicking shift and just dragging your mouse it will go and automatically select that Can be a little tedious. So once we have all of them selected, we want to right click and select extrude and extrude that by 0 0.9. So we have one balustrade. Then we just repeat that on the other side. Then we have our 
Bowerstripe's created. And in the next video, I'll show you how to create the support structure.